Hey guys, this is Dabson Nishmel, and in today's tutorial, let's take a look at how to use the Snap Scroll tool in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So, Snap Scroll happens to be part of the new features that was released as part of WYSIWYG Web Builder version 16. So, this is actually a demo page which hasn't been implemented here. Now, when you take a look at uh, the left section over here, we have some sort of pagination. So, this is actually the Snap Scroll where once you click on any of the pagination in here, it takes you to a different section of the page and you can actually scroll and then realize that the way a normal page would scroll is actually different from how this page is being scrolled because we are using the snap scroll in here so let's switch over to WYSIWYG web builder and take a look at how to go about this so the snap scroll tool is actually a tool which you can search for in WYSIWYG web builder here but before i get started using that i have to bring in some layers which is going to serve as my page layout which is going to make it easier to implement the snap scroll so i'm just going to be duplicating pages in here so let me just make this fit to the entire width of the page and then change the color to a solid color and um, something which is going to be a bit visible so I'll click on ok i'll go ahead to stretch this and then i'm going to copy it here and then paste it using ctrl c and ctrl v and then i'll change the color of this to something different so maybe this and then i'll go ahead to add two more sections so i'll paste this one which is going to be red let me just change this to red and um, go ahead and then copy this one more time paste it here and then i'm going to change this to maybe black so let me just come here and change this to black and then go ahead and click on ok so as you can see i have three um, four different layout sections over here which are all built by layers when i go ahead to preview this realize as i scroll the way this is being scrolled is a bit different now i'll come back to WYSIWYG web builder and this time around search for the snap scroll tool so i'll click on it and then i'm going to draw in here now by default you have only four um pagination icons over here which because i've actually also created four sections so it actually makes a tally but you can actually go ahead to add more if you want to so i'll go ahead to double click on this and then we have our settings or our properties over here. So under general, we have our menu items and then we have our um, other properties. So this is where you specify each and every section of the page. So let's say this is um, item one. So maybe I can call this home and then I'll call this one uh, maybe about and then I'll call the next one service. Um, let me just call this service. And then finally, I'll call this contact. And then I'll go ahead and then click on OK. Now, what I'm supposed to do is to link all these menu items to the various sections I have on this page. Now, to make it easier to identify these pages, I'll have to rename the page um, ID. So I'll come to my page property. And there, where I have ID, I'll change this to home, which makes sure make it easier to link to this particular section. Um, so I'll change this also to about and then I'll change this to service and then finally I'll change this to contact and then go ahead and come back to my snap scroll so I'll double click on this and then I'm going to link them to their various sections so I'll first of all because I'm linking them to bookmark object I'll have to um, specify page within this project and then I'll go ahead and select the various sections. So this is going to be for home. This is going to be for about. This is going to be for service. And then finally, this is going to be for contact. So I'll go ahead and select that and click on OK and click on OK again. Now, when I preview this by default, you have your snap scroll coming to the left hand section over here. I realize that the scroll is um, it's not happening like what we saw previously with uh, um, the demo project we took a look at. So let's come back to WYSIWYG Web Builder and see how best we can tweak this. So I'll come back to my snap scroll object. And then when you look at the bottom here, so this is where you specify the position of the snap scroll. So by default, it is going to switch to the left hand side as we saw with a preview. And this is where you can actually change that if you wanted to go to the right. Or to the left you can't specify that here and then you have the fill so the fill is the um, color 
that um, you want to have that is uh, if it is not selected what should be the color so that's where you specify that and then also the outline is the um, border around it also and then you have the shape so what kind of shape do you want to use being it eclipse that is a round icons here as well as we have rectangles which will change it to a rectangular form and then you can also specify the size as well as the spacing so this is the animation part where you can actually increase it or decrease it to increase the speed or decrease the speed of the animation so let me change this to thousand and then let's take a look at it again so i'll preview this once more and then as you realize this is a bit faster compared to what we had previously so this is where you can actually tweak that setting so you can come back here and then you can um, tweak this based on how you want to now when you come to style this is where you can actually specify the background color the border color for the entire um, snap scroll object in here as well as the text um, that you want to use um, that was what we saw in here you can also change the properties for that as well and then you can also add some padding around the icons in here as well as you can work with some margins and then also the good thing is this snap scroll also works with responsive object so um, that is responsive website so in case you are working on a responsive project you can actually or equally use the snap scroll object in it so that's just about it for this tutorial in wizard web builder in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and then hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so my name is dabson ishmael thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one